龍馬さんよ。Everybody, welcome to Workforce Gaming. I am Brad here with Doug. Hey. Like a Dragon Ishin, formerly Yakuza Ishin. Uh, just got remastered, remade、uh, for PlayStation 5.、Mm-hmm. So, this game, if you haven't seen it before, is a middle point almost in the Yakuza. It comes after 5 and between 0. So, kind of right at the peak of popularity of Yakuza、mm-hmm. in the West here in the United States. And it never got released before until now. So,、yeah. they kind of just hit this back.、Um, it has no connection to the other games outside of the fact that all of the characters are the same. But it takes place way back in history in Japan.、Mm-hmm. So you are samurais instead of members of the Yakuza. It is a very weird thing just to start <laughs> off the bat. Sure.、Um, so a lot of the Yakuza tropes are here. All of those things happen kind of in the same way you would think, but picture samurai in ancient Japan. Gotcha. And it is. A very weird twist on it just because of how closely it does follow a Yakuza game. Oh, sure. Okay. With this. But、um, the, I kind of want to start with just kind of the feeling of it because、mm-hmm. the game feels very weird initially. It took、okay. me a long time to get into this thing.、Mm-hmm. And that's not for the intro because the intro is amazing. It's like samurai storming a castle, like all this really cool stuff. It's awesome. Mm hmm. And then you kind of get into it, and it's just like, it doesn't, I think it just doesn't feel right to me because all of the, so all the characters are there, but they、mm-hmm. have different names and slightly different personalities. So、oh, okay. Kiryu is Yoma, who's the main character.、Mm-hmm. But it looks like him and it talks like him. <laughs> so I just constantly have this, like, what? No, 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 no. This isn't the right thing. This isn't the right thing. So I just constantly have this feeling of like, Something slightly off that I think kind of took me out of it for the first little bit until I kind of slowly、sure. got into it. So, would you,、um, would you have had that issue if you hadn't played Yakuza games before? And, like, I don't, your... I don't think so because it's a lot of, it's a lot of like, oh, there's Majima, yeah. Oh, wait, not Majima, what's his name? <laughs> uh, this guy, right? And you're like, no. And I had that for like the first like 10 hours, like, Oh, yeah, I gotta talk to him. Not, oh, what's his name here? What's his name here? And I could never click, keep their name straight in my brain just because it's like, nope, that's、sure. no, it's not. It,、um, I was surprised when you said they're not the same personality wise. I figured that, that, that at least would have carried over. Is it similar it's enough? It's close. It's close、gotcha. enough. It's、yeah. like, if, again, I think if you hadn't spent hundreds of hours with these characters, sure. <laughs> sure. you、fair. wouldn't even notice. But it's one、yeah. of those where it's like, no, that's not quite what he would have done. Um, But, like, there's like little things like、uh, Majima's character, they like reference as a mad dog, like, once or twice in there. Gotcha. And you're like,、yeah. ah, I get what you're doing. There's a really <laughs> cool scene、um, where Kiryu, this is like very minor, like, weird Yakuza spoilers, where Kiryu and the bad guy from 2 are in a bathhouse.、Yeah. And one of the things from 2 is that they both have the big dragon tattoos, and it's like, which one's、yeah. better? And it pans out, and there's just a big dragon mural behind them as they're about、oh, to start fighting,、cool. which is like,、yeah. oh. I get it. So, oh, because they wouldn't have the tattoos because they're not young. No, there's、right? no tattoos. Exactly.、Oh, which is、yeah. the weird. There, and again, there's like, there's so many like weird little Yakuza things. And this, I think once I kind of got into the mindset, that's where it's like,、oh, I get what they're doing there. Ha ha ha. That's funny. That's an in joke. Well, it's kind of that feeling more than anything else. Well, that、else. was the question I, that was the question I was, I, I wanted to ask is because it's like, you don't need any prior Yakuza experience. No. But by the way, if you played Yakuza, there's a lot of, but that's, and is it, is it so self referential that like, You would just be lost in like no, the references they're making. Okay, okay, that was、yeah. it's, it's very, it's very like again, like the things where Majima's character in this they reference him as Mad Dog. It's just like his, his character is obviously kind of crazy, just like the normal one. Yeah, and it's just like, oh man, he just ran through there like a mad dog. And you're like, oh, that okay, is a perfectly、gotcha. normal reference to make,、sure. yeah. but if you know the context, again, like this big dragon mural doesn't seem out of place, yeah, but you know what it is. It's lots、mm-hmm. of things like that where you're like, oh, I get what you're doing.、Um, more than a lot of guys still ripping、cause... their shirts off, I assume. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's a really weird thing to get upset about if you haven't played Yakuza. <laughs> I didn't see my big burly cure you. <laughs> <laughs> I literally. Fair, the shirt rips are like one of the coolest aspects it, of Yakuza. It's, <laughs> it's hilarious. I think. I, I mean, I kind of already spoil it. I think 
in my brain it's i so can remember funny. one time and it was like 15 hours in where it happened and i was like oh here we go <laughs> shit's getting real we just ripped it so <laughs> one, funny. Time. one time one that time that i can remember yeah. so but again it's like that where it's like if you never touched a yakuza or like a dragon game before um you can jump into this thing instantly there is sure. no connection it's it's open world walking around um the story of it um is basically kind of it's it's very odd and the same way that a lot of yakuza stories are where it's a very personal story that has obscenely giant ramifications for like <laughs> sure. the yeah, entire yeah. world so the basic story <laughs> yeah sorry that just sounds like every yakuza game like that's a very it, good way again. to describe it yeah <laughs> so like because like the so the basic story is um you've been away training for like a year to become like a master samurai swords and whatever you come back mm -hmm. and you're because again yakuza your adoptive father yeah. um is murdered in front of you they okay. believe that you did it because you're the yeah. only one in the room with this dead body so everybody assumes yep. that you did it you've been away da, 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 da. so you run off basically to go no 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 i'm gonna find the man in a mask is who you see do it i'm gonna mm -hmm. find the man in the mask and you realize that he has this very unique sword style and this fighting style that only this one group of people uses in all of japan so i'm gonna go like gotcha. find them and i'm going to identify this masked man who killed my adoptive father mm -hmm. now it turns out <laughs> this all comes down to plots to kill the emperor of japan sure, the british yeah. arriving in japan and how the british are killing all this <laughs> and how yeah. all these other things so the story of course goes off the rails as every yakuza game does Mm -hmm. um in the most fun and entertaining ways but i do feel like the build-up is a little slower and i think that's sure. where the historical setting kind of becomes an issue for me with this mm -hmm. it i think it serves as a strength and a weakness the weakness yep. being that it kind of felt narrow in what you could do you can't have this big huge buzzing city like you have with kamarocho oh, gotcha yeah, yeah the city feels kind of empty just because mm -hmm. you don't have 18 different stores. You have three or four. Yeah. Yeah, You've yeah. got lots of just areas where it's just like, oh, no, this is just kind of a long street with nothing on it, where clearly we're going from, like, the restaurant area mm -hmm. to the house area. Um, it just kind of felt empty. And then, again, I think just you couldn't, you can't go quite as crazy as, like, giant underwater, basically metal gears chumming oh, up sure. from the water. To, you know, yeah, you can't yeah, yeah, go yeah, that yeah. crazy. It's lots of, like, but a boat showed up. Which again, time period works, but it just it never yeah. gets that that crazy stakes as the other one. So it just feels a little yeah. slower moving. It doesn't quite feel like it ever gets there because it's lots of sword fight, sword fight, sword fight, sword fight, sword fight. Yeah. Versus, okay, this one like there's this huge shootout and then there's a car chase and then we're jumping off a building and then gotcha. you know you're kind of getting these different yeah. types of set pieces. Where this one it's like, no, I fought the other guy in the bathhouse. This time <laughs> I did it over by that big castle looking building it, this time it, i fought him here is it actually is it like is it a smaller game than the other yakuza games is it like the same because um, because it, it is a spinoff right? i mean it is a spinoff it is so a spin -off, is, yep. is, it, is it does it does it feel like a smaller game than as a result no i think i okay. mean it was still the, the 20 25 hours again i think if you th it's if you think like ps3 era yakuza like three four five sure um yeah. it, it fits in very nicely with those mm -hmm. size wise feeling wise all of that, if it's very yeah. nicely with three, four, five, um, I think zero is kind of where things like started exploding, getting giant, all this other stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, but the other cool thing, so that was kind of the weakness I feel like of the historical thing. The and I didn't realize this until I was like ten hours in. This is like a true story, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> which sent me down like a two and a half hour like Wikipedia thing through oh, you did Japanese look it up. Okay, history. I was oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I spent like two and a half hours being like, okay, this guy. Oh no, he actually did. Okay, and. Oh, and he was friends with him. Oh, and oh, he actually did because you kind of like take on like a hidden identity to like blend in with this group. And it's like, no, the guy that he's based on did some of this stuff. And he actually oh, cool. was one of the ones who kind of set some of these Japanese towns free because that's what you start getting into a lot of is like there's a caste system and the higher ranking people are just assholes to everybody below him. So yeah. you're kind of this freedom fighter trying to fight against that. Mm -hmm. And nope, he's like a real person from Japanese history. Every single one of these people in this group that you're trying to hunt down were all real historical figures. Oh, and weird. it's just, yeah, it's very, very interesting. So I spent a lot of time learning <laughs> some Japanese history when I was just I like, know. this I is cool. This is interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. So very interesting. Um, the combat is very weird. 
Um, yeah, this the, demo, is, the demo was like, I don't know about this. <laughs> was basically my <laughs> was my impression of the the combat of the demo. I, it it definitely takes a while to get your feet on to get your feet under it with you, mm-hmm. just because there's four different styles, and each style is very clearly tailored to a different situation. And once mm-hmm. you kind of get the okay, this type of enemy, this type of style, you can get a flow going really, really well with sure. most of them. Mm-hmm. The first probably five or six hours I've played it, it just felt it felt rough. I didn't feel like I was getting yeah. it. I didn't feel like it had that same feeling because again, like the Yakuza Brawlers Judgment, those ones I feel like are all just so much fun. And this one, you kind of had to learn it a little bit more than those ones because those ones are mm-hmm. all just no, you're just punching and kicking. But this one, you've got your basic brawler one which is just your your traditional yakuza combat you've got one where you have like a two-handed sword so you're Mm. much slower but you can block super efficiently you've got a gun where you literally just run around and shoot people Mm. you've got another one that's a mix of like a gun and sword that's super super fast where you're doing lots of spins lots of dodges all this other stuff so it took a long time for me to kind of connect which style fit into which area Mm mm-hmm so, okay, we get to, like, a boss who's also got a two-handed sword. Okay, well, like, my two-handed sword is going to match well with his because I can block all of his attacks and then quick counter when he's done. Okay, there's a group of six enemies. If I'm using that two-handed style, I'm screwed. Like, it's just gotcha. not happening. Sorry. Yeah. So it took a lot of kind of getting used to it, I think, more so mm-hmm. than I was expecting just having played all of these games. Sure. It did take me a second yeah. to kind of get into it. Gotcha. That's cool. But Yeah, I mean, did you – I think I, I – think I, was kind of curious i was surprised they brought this game back um because it is a weird one and like if they're bringing it back does that mean they're going to do a sequel to it do is do, it sounds like you actually kind of struggled with having these kind of people play like like characters kind of thing <laughs> like would you be okay with like if like another Asian comes out are you as excited to get that i mean obviously probably not as excited as like a mainline one but are you excited for the next thing they do or i mean I, I love all these stupid ass games. Like sure. I liked the stupid <laughs> Fist of the North Star game that they made. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you don't even is, like Fist of the North Star at I don't, all. I don't think you I literally could it. not. I didn't even know that that was a thing other than the game that they made. I thought it was it's like really their fun. own IP until I like again like an hour into it was like I feel like I'm missing something and there was that. But anyway, um, no, I think I think it's an interesting way to go about it. And again, I like the yeah. historical thing. Um, where it's a unique thing. I mean, again, yeah. you get lots of samurai games, you get lots of ninja games, but I feel like having some historical context, just because I feel like those are so much always like over the top, like you are whatever, da 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 da. And this, you very much feel like you're just a normal samurai kind of living your life as you go through oh, this like, this thing, yeah. more so than like I don't know. I don't play a lot of these games, but um, the super. I, know, I was I mean, curious. I was picture like Ninja I Gaiden, mean, like Sh- Shinobi Ninja oh, Gaiden, because like yeah. like that type of stuff where it's like, oh, I'm like triple jumping up a building, climbing a building, slashing gotcha. through. Yeah. It's like no, no, no. Like I'm just a normal dude, and I happen to be a good fighter. Yeah, yeah. But it's 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 interesting, if nothing else. I think it's very interesting. It's a cool take on things. Um, I I'd, I'd play another one again. I I think the normal <laughs> Yakuza stuff is way better, but I'm also. Sure all in on everything these guys make at this point so <laughs> binary domain <laughs> review one of these days <laughs> oh it's so good <laughs> i always forget that's even by him because it's so much yeah. different than anything else but and super monkey ball <laughs> also so good different yeah. i think been decades uh, yeah. but anyway definitely again i think i think the biggest thing to take away is if you know nothing about this franchise it's just a fun story. It's a cool samurai game. I think it's more so for people who are interested in like a samurai game more so than people interested in a Yakuza game. Mm-hmm. Um, just because I think it does tailor very hard to being like, no, no, no. It says like a dragon on the box, but that is not what this is. That is, it is not connected mm-hmm. in any way, shape or form. It's not like, oh, this is Kiryu's great, 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 great grandfather. Oh, and... sure. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, I was like half expecting that at some point to be like, some weird fast flash forward or something or at the yeah. end or like the post credit scene being like Kiryu looking at a picture of like him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it plays it straight. It never met. Um, that's what never no, matches. It's, that's interesting. It know. is. It is played completely straight all the way through. Yeah. Um, it does have, it does have your goofy weird side stories. Sure. Like there's one where you go to the bathhouse and you're taking a bath and somebody steals your clothes. So you're running around basically naked through the city, chasing somebody <laughs> down. Like you've got that stuff yeah. there too, yeah. which I, I feel like I probably should have mentioned more, but I feel like, if you're in on like a dragon yakuza you know that's going to be there yeah. um but again it's 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 an interesting game it's a cool game uh yeah yeah 
We are Workforce Gaming. Try to have new videos up every Monday. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel here, and we'll see you later. Bye.